Welcome to the Ralph Mark Gilbert Civil Rights Museum as we celebrate Black History Month. The mural behind me today was painted by Eugene A. Montgomery. Eugene A. Montgomery was a muralist for Sears Roebuck and he did 10 murals here in Savannah in 1946 when this mural was painted. The mural that we're talking about today is called The Georgia Negro. The Georgia Negro tells a story, it has a wonderful storyline of its era. The first scene in the mural reflects the pavilion that was there in Forsyth Park in the 1940s. You also see a horse and buggy with a couple who look like they may be on their way to market because next to them is a huckster, someone who would have been selling wares at the market. Those hucksters uh, became famous for their calls when they were selling fruit and vegetables uh, to passerbys. They would walk through the neighborhoods and maybe this is a scene from that. And as the mural moves along with its storytelling, of course, we see music because music was so popular, you know, in the 1940s as it is today. But just think of live music and the times. But we also have someone who was even more famous reflected in this mural that we are presenting here at the Ralph Mark Gilbert, and that is the Hall Johnson Choir. But the reflection here, you see a choir with angel wings. You also see a baptism in the water uh, and a man fishing, um, perhaps symbolic of fishing for souls if you look at it from a religious standpoint. And at the very end of this wonderful exhibit of, of beautiful art, you have children dreaming. And those children are dreaming about what they could become. And the people that they're thinking about, the little boy is thinking about Dr. George Washington Carver and his plant science. And you also have a singer. Yes, it is Marian Anderson, the opera singer, the great Marian Anderson, a little girl dreaming about possibly becoming her one day. So it looks to the past the mural, which is called the Georgia Negro, but also to the future, which would see us in it hopefully today, and the stories that we tell every year here at the Ralph Mark Gilbert during what we know as Black History Month, 